Hello the internet and welcome to episode um, 8, 8 I think, of uh, Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. Uh, the, the big mod pack with all of the uh, the fun shenanigans in there with lots and lots of different um, products and components to play with. So at the end of the last episode I finished building up this um, Jeeva Light mine, uh, pulling out pulling out the Jeeva Light, going over to these crushers here, into this ore sorter, and then down to these smelters down here, uh, down to these furnaces rather down here. And they're running reasonably happily. Um, they're all a bit, they're all kind of full, but that's what we get. Um, I'm going to run, obviously, going to run the belts off from here through this forest and back over to the uh, to the main bus, so I can use the the resources from them. Generally, everything looks like it's running quite well. I think the f the first thing to do in this episode is going to be to get the um, this mine running a bit more efficiently. So I need some more sorters. I need to feed the ore in from these belts as well to get everything running a bit more smoothly um, and a lot more quickly. And then I shall start thinking about the uh, probably the next science pack, which is probably going to be the military one. Um, and well. We'll just see where I go from there. So, first thing, I need another one of these. Sorter. Right, so I need iron, I need stone, stone bricks. Okay, let's uh, get some iron. Not that much iron, but it'll, well, not that many of the, um, not that many of my furnaces are actually getting iron yet, but uh, that's sort of to be expected because I haven't got that much iron ore coming through yet. So, let's uh, get some stone from over here. I think I need to set up something that's going to grab this stone and give me somewhere put it in a chest so I can just grab a lot of it in one go because this is far too slow. So let's put in a splitter here. Don't have any inserters. Build some of them. In fact, let's build lots of them. I'm going to need more. And a box and power. And about that much will probably do. Is that enough for a couple of sorters yet? No. Not even sort of 60. Okay. <clears throat> so I need a lot more stone bricks for that. Okay, what's my next uh, science project? That's the next question. Military science. Already researched that. And these piercing rounds. Grenades and walls, piercing rounds, so steel. It all comes back to steel. Okay, today's episode is going to be getting a bit more iron production running, and then getting a lot of steel, and then getting steel production um, sorted and work out how, to, how on earth to do that. So we had this in the last episode, didn't we, where I was um, looking at steel and going, oh my god, how am I going to make that? And it looks like um, iron and oxygen is basically the only way to make it. And oxygen is made from compressed air, which I couldn't make because so I couldn't make these chemical labs. <clears throat> oh no, I could make compressed air, but I couldn't then split it. So I, because I can't get the chemical labs. So I think that means I need to do um, do this, the, the electrolysis, and that produces slag as well, and oxygen and hydrogen. So um, yeah, let's have a think about that. Electrolyzer, and that just produces from water, which I know I can make, uh, produces oxygen gas more or less straight off. Can I make electrolyzers? I can. Right. Okay, so that'll be my next project. After getting the steel production, after getting the iron production and the copper production up up to a decent rate, I shall investigate those ones. What's enough for one more sorter? No, it isn't. <sighs> no iron. Nope, not there. Let's try putting it in the right place. There we go. So how many of these are actually running? I reckon about two inserts is going to actually be enough for this. It's not that demanding. There we go. And uh, then I can get rid of most of them from this as well. Now this could be running a bit more efficiently perhaps because I've researched various types of um, inserter upgrades. But let's see how this goes. I have to admit these inserters do seem to be running more or less flat out now. Let's go back up to three. The ones putting in seem to be alright. The ones getting out, yeah that's fine. They're, um, they're going quickly enough. That belt still isn't full though. So that means, that means I can have another one. Let's get some more stone from there. Another sorter. Aha! I've now got enough coming through that it's taking up more, uh, using up more than the uh, crushers can produce. So there we go, let's put some more in there, like that. Okay, so that's now coming through as quickly as I can. That This is now the fastest I can do with, um, with one basic belt, I think. Uh, possibly I could squeeze a little bit more on there if I had, if I used a splitter to join them. Maybe I should do that. But I think it's coming out of these machines almost about as fast as it possibly can. So... Unfortunately, obviously, we're splitting off half of it to go over here with the uh, crushed uh, as the crushed stone. I could put in another three crushers above the above the belt. Yeah, so I'm not really using that belt to its fullest potential. So let's make. I need any more stone bricks, and then I can make some more ore crushers. How are we doing down here? So the iron is still only making it slightly more than halfway down the belt. But I could potentially have if I built more crushers and more sorters. 
I could have them feeding into the other side of this splitter. So I think I'll try and do that once this one's once this is full. Let's see how this goes first. Put two inserters on each one. That should be two inserters enough for anybody, right? Oh, where's this going? Oh yeah, I can put this in here. That could work if I had more belts. At some point fairly soon, I'll start trying to make higher tiers of belts as well, and that'll allow me to get significantly more throughput on these sort of things. Uh, oh yeah, put it all on the same side of the belt again, haven't I? Let's not do that. Uh, that'll do. So it's all coming down here. More more crushed Jeeva light coming through on this side. That's good. But now I'm not getting enough. Okay, so now the mine isn't fast enough. But to be honest, if we're running this mine as fast as we can, then I suppose I've got to be satisfied with that, at least until I um, develop more advanced mining drills that can pull the stuff out faster. Or until I research mining efficiency. Is that a thing in mining research? No, this is... Okay, so in Angel Bobs, I think I, I research better miners rather than rather than the mining efficiency going or the mining productivity going up. That's a bit of a shame. That said, I do have enough coming through to keep all of my sorters happy. What's stopped this? Oh, this is... <laughs> Great, now this is backing up. Okay, so I <laughs> need another uh, another crusher to get rid of all of the, um, the excess slag coming through here. Iron. Make another one of them. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, stone as well. All right. I'll just take some of this. Uh, ore crusher. Two more of those, actually. Okay, this is going to take a while. I'm going to start running into a problem with the um, the belts being too slow down here, as I say. So I'm just not produ the belts just aren't quick enough to carry all of the um, the various stone types through. And now I've got the slag starting to back up as well. Ah, oh, here we go. Hope there's going to be room on this belt to carry all this crushed stone. <laughs> and enough throughput in my systems up there to uh, deal with it all as well. That looks like it's absolutely fine, actually. There's a lot of stone being fed up there and it's not getting used up. Let's get rid of more, some of this bobmonium as well while I'm thinking about it. And there, uh, yes, tin ore. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, it's going in this box at the moment, isn't it? Which is apparently full. Uh, that can go can, miles away. Rubite. Juvelite ore, that can go in the crushers. Crushed juvelite can go in the sorter. Slag can go in there. Stone. I'll keep that. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh wow, they're actually pumping out enough <laughs> stone. Oh, I see, I see what the problem is. Uh, let's put in that and that. There we go. So because both sides of the belt were trying to feed onto one side of this belt, there just wasn't enough throughput on it to take both sides of it. So the uh, the, the second side that meets the other one was uh, was backing up quite a lot. And of course that's where all of these were unloading to, so it was just getting a bit messy a bit quickly. This slag pile is definitely going down, or slag heap perhaps I should call it. Yeah, that's going down nice and quickly actually. So I think I've solved the um, the throughput problem here. Yeah, I think I could make another one of the another sorter and fit that in. But if I squeeze it in here, yeah, it could it could actually run off this this belt before the um, before the filter without any problems because it knows what it needs to pick up, and then I don't need to worry about it not fitting. So I put that there. I need what three belts loading uh, like that, three belts unloading like that. I need to feed it on there, there. Okay, that can run up fine there. There we go. Now that should run nice and smoothly and with a bit of luck. Okay, so this belt is now full. Uh, is it getting used up quickly enough? Yes, it is all getting used up. So it is actually at this point, it's just the rate of the belt. Interestingly, all my um, actual buses are completely backed up now, because, simply because I've not been doing anything with my uh, requires resources, I suppose, down here. So I should, that means I should get on with some research. Let's. What do I want? Ore silos. What if these? What if these take steel as well? Oh, let's build one of them. See what happens. Yeah, that seems to be working pretty nicely. So if I'm going to start playing with gases and such like. Is this flowing? Oh, it's mostly flowing. Occasional hiccups from this coal supply down here, I guess. Mostly it's just going through. It's just not enough for the sheer amount of crushed stone I'm producing. That's crazy. Maybe I can make this run a bit faster. Do that and that and say prioritize from the right. The problem with that is the Jeeva light might back up now, but hopefully it'll get this out a bit more quickly. Not really. Still getting slowed down a bit too much. Could do that. But now this one will struggle and get backed up and so on. It's not great. I just don't have enough throughput. That was a silly idea. How can I get this to use both sides? Um, probably like that. Yes, there we go. That's flowing a bit better now because it's all going onto the the bottom side. is getting filled up as well as the top side. Let's take that filter off. That priority off. It's impressive that these crushers are producing an entire... Um, half belt on their own. That is now at long last. It seems to be just about fast enough because this is getting shorter. 
Okay, well let's assume that's enough iron for now and start making steel out of it. So for now I'll I'll make steel from one of these channels and um, and leave the other one as iron that could be pulled over onto the bus if I start to use it up a bit too quickly later. I think for now I'm going to put some things on the bus building pipes for me because I don't really want to have to do them by hand. It'll take too much, just too much, uh, too much time and effort to build them all, but all one at a time by hand. So maybe somewhere down here, yeah, with this this will do. Now hopefully, let's see if pipes and things are still the same. So iron pipes is still iron plates, good. Iron underground pipes is iron pipes and iron plates. Okay, that's acceptable. Box there, box there, inserters all the way along, and then power of course. And let's have these fill up to say 300 pipes and one thing of underground pipes. And I'm going to use a lot, I can tell I'm going to use a lot of these now I'm starting to do um, liquids and gases and things. So, in order to make um, hydro hydrogen and oxygen, yeah, makes sense, from water. Uh, I need some water, obviously. I've got some here, and then some over here. I think because I'm doing the uh, starting to do the iron mining over here, let's let's try and keep the um, the weird old petrochem stuff a, a little bit of a distance away from the uh, from the normal parts of the um, of the factory. So I'll pull the water out from over here, set up the steel refine creation over here, and I can run the maybe maybe to the south of it, near this bobmonium patch, in this sort of area. Oh, and let's make some um, automated uh, grenades as well, because that would be quite nice. Beats having to do it all, uh, having to make them all by hand. Ammunition being done here, yeah, let's do it near the ammo, they're both sort of weapon things. So, this is all, all heading downwards, let's that, and that, and okay, over here, I'm gonna, it's going to have to be there, and there and split up there. Here we go, make some tree killers. They take a long time to build. Okay, how's pipe mania going? I've made 26 underground pipes <laughs> and no real normal pipes because they've all been turned into underground pipes. Okay, let's take those for now and go over and think about making. So I need an electrolyzer, one of them. Hello the internet and welcome to episode 8 of Lawrence Plays Lumberjack Simulator. Today I shall be chopping down some lovely green trees, orange trees, and whatever else I can find. I'm glad you don't need steel to build the steel axe, because if you did I'd still be uh, playing around with the iron one and this would take much much longer. That's a decent amount of space. Okay, where's that electrolyzer? So I want you to make dirty water uh, turned into hydrogen oxygen slag. Great. Oh, my slag processing up there isn't great. Um, screw up. This is going to tax it even further, but oh well. And then I'm going to need a flare stack to get rid of the hide. I don't have flare stacks. Okay, it's going to make get rid of getting rid of the hydrogen fun. What do I need to make? What do I need to make steel again? Oxygen and iron made in a in a chemical furnace. I built one of those, I think. Yes, yeah, there it is. So I can go here. Uh, let's pipe a straight across like that. Why not steel? It's for water. That comes from my no, it's an elbow. There we go, underground pipes. No, can't go there. <laughs> oh, of course, it doesn't line up. That'd be too easy. Never mind. Put it there. The electrolyzer, of course, will need power. And probably quite a lot of it, I imagine. The furnace presumably needs coal. Yes, it does. Give it some wood for now. Just make sure everything... Let's make sure everything works and does what I expect it to do. Yes, yeah, so far so good. We are now cooking with steel. And this is no doubt filling up with hydrogen and slag that it can't get rid of, but okay, that's expected. Go up like this. Much tidier. Let's just go up here and join onto that one. Slag dealt with. I also need coal going the other way. Through the, yeah, probably through the middle of there. If I run that along like that, because then I can have a pipe along here to collect all of one, pipe along to collect the other one, and I'm out again. Okay, give me flare stacks, I need flare stacks. Okay, proof of concept working nicely, except for the rather glaring lack of storage space for the uh, for the hydrogen. Because I can't, well, I mean, I, I can store this um, all this hydrogen, at least for a little while, in a small storage tank, really. What's the difference between these two? Let's have a look at them both. Oh, it's just a 2D boot, yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to fill up pretty quickly, I imagine. Um, but at least I've got steel being made while it's while that happens. Actually, let's put one of those on the um, on the oxygen, so I can see whether it's being made faster than it's being used. 
200. Come back and have a look at that in a minute when I've got some more belts. And some more tree clearing pineapples. Tree pineapples, belts, pipes. Yeah, the tree pineapples work quite well. So we've got that. I need flare stacks. Gimme, gimme. Where am I? Okay, so if I go under there, I can join in more or less where the um, the new bus, bus part two, starts. Someday, I'll learn to draw in a straight line with a mouse. Today is not that day. To be honest, tomorrow's not looking good either. Can't even do it when I'm running. It's ridiculous. Oh, for goodness sake. Out of belts again. 165. That should be enough for me to get this linked up. Then I can go back and actually make the um, steel production a bit less pathetic. So is there any way to get... Yes, I can get through here. Excellent. Uh, right, I'm going on the theory that one belt of everything is enough down here, aren't I? Okay. I mean, that seems ambitious, but we'll see how it goes. Don't need that anymore. Ah, oh, excellent. Flare stacks. What else do I blatantly need? Pressure tanks. I don't know what pressure tanks are for. Geo I don't know what geodes are for. Faster furnaces could be useful. I think I need to start using better belts. Oh, if I'm using um, if I'm using electrolyzers, I suspect they're probably going to use quite a lot of power. I should probably get better ways of generating power. And at the moment, that basically means better steam engines and better um, uh, boilers, I guess. Yes, yeah, so I'm not currently producing enough power. That should be definitely be the next thing I go off and do. How is this doing? Okay, that is filling up slightly faster than it's being used. Let's whack in another two of these blast furnaces then, shall we? Um, chemical furnaces, even. And see if those can keep up. And maybe if I get enough electricity, then this will do slightly better at keeping up as well. And a flare stack. I definitely need a flare stack. And that costs steel, which I can now do. Hooray. One more. Come on. There we go. No? Oh, what am I short of for that? Can't be wood. Shouldn't be copper, surely? Uh, electronics. I am, I'm short of copper. Well, that's fixed easily enough. Uh, come on, give me a flare stack. I've got, hang on, I've got basic electronic boards. A basic, oh, basic electronics board is not a basic circuit board. Oh, okay. Um, that is also very new. Uh, let's go and do that as well then. How are you doing for filling up? You're filling up quite quickly. Okay, let's make another, do I have bigger tanks yet? No, I don't. Uh, can I research bigger tanks? Tank, yeah, not that one. <laughs> uh, fluid handler, fluid, boo. Okay. Let's pick that up. Oh, that needs... You need engines for tanks. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, okay. Let's do that then. <laughs> I'll do them. Oh, I had a couple more of these, didn't I? Uh, to there. No, you can't go there. And do I need to tell you what to do? I do. There we go. Where are those all storage tanks? That'll have to do for now. As <laughs> I can't build anything bigger. I can't build a flare stack to get rid of it. It's just going to have to go in little tanks. Okay, what's next? Um, next is getting this out of here, and then probably moving over a bit further again. I think I need to increase the number of belts that are built before that box fills up. Maybe 400 might do. <laughs> Certainly be twice as good. There, 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 there. Okay, what on earth am I building next? I've got steel going, but not very well. I need to start thinking about those electronics boards, I think. Um, so that means I need to think about solder and basic electronics components. Well, solder is made from resonance. Right, let's just start again. Basic electronic board, there we go. Made out of solder, basic, which is made out of resin, which is made out of wood. Okay, I'll do wood. Uh, no, back. And solder plate, which is made out of lead and tin. Now, lead and tin both come from... Oh, I see, okay. So I do need that rubite up from up on the mining, uh, up on the coal mine, to make the lead. And tin, I think, comes from bobmonium. Yes, it does. Oh, good grief. <laughs> That's quite a big jump. That's another two metals to get on this thing. Okay, uh, let's get a tin mine going, and uh, then let's get a lead mine going, I guess. Okay, so out of here, got all this slag. It feels a bit ridiculous that I think the limiting factor on my entire... Um, mining operation now is how fast I can get crushed stone up this belt. Uh, let's turn that into a splitter so it's we're nearly maxing it out. We can get more pumped up here I think. This iron production is, is sufficient at the moment. That's good. Okay let's take the slag from there at least. Oh the sl slag needs to go over there and upset all of that. So here I reckon this is another place where one of them and that, that goes that way. There now we now have a full belt of it going through there, and none of this is going to back up. I hope. Okay, that's backed up on the, the good stuff rather than the waste. This is 
still keeping up. Just a... Ooh, that's not keeping up. That's going to get backed up. <laughs> I need more of these. Let's say three. Um, and more of furnaces. Where are they appearing? There. Power to you. In fact, you know, I'm just going to need power between all of these. Don't need that. Whatever. And then the other side. Well, um, um, <laughs> I guess you just don't get power. Hey, things calmed down a bit. It's almost like I managed to get rid of all the slag. These backs. Okay, the copper's all backing up. <laughs> oh, gee. Um, it's more slag. Okay, so I need to feed the copper out. I knew that was going to happen eventually, really. I might have been in denial, but I still knew it was going to happen. How do I get... Oh, down this way, okay. Oh, this is perfect, actually. If I feed this into the back of the uh, sapphires, whatever it is, the mine over here, the one that's producing copper the old-fashioned way, then that means... Right. This means that we'll use up the copper from the Jeevalite factory first, and then if there isn't enough of that, it'll be topped up by the, with the copper from the sapphire factory. And that's good, because it means it's take, we're using up the stuff we need to use up first, and then filling it up with the stuff that we don't need to use up in quite the same way. Give me tanks. Over here, we should probably do the same sort of thing, that we're getting in a small enough amount of this out that I can do... Uh, what's the best way to join these together? Probably like this. I mean, I'll admit that feels kind of dirty, but eh, it works. Yeah, that's ticking over nicely. Okay, I've um, <laughs> done a bit of yak shaving there, because none of that was what I was originally going out to do. All I've really done is empty some of the slag out of this box, <laughs> and it's generated some more, because of course it has. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this manually, or at all actually, but let's put this over here anyway, because it's somewhere to get rid of it. They'll eventually catch up. Right, I'm not going to worry about that for now. I've got more pressing things on hand, so let's pick that up and that. What have I just picked up? <laughs> okay, I've got lots of coal, I've got lots of glass. Probably got a little bit of silicon in there somewhere, right, but that's that's fine. So what I'm going to do here is basically what I did over there and have some inserters pulling it out and then I need to start sorting it. So what we've got... Yeah, okay, let's go up this way. Four different... No, three... Di three different things coming out there. That crushed stone shouldn't be there at all. So the first one is going to sort out the um, silicon. Can, no. What have I got coming out of there? Tin, silicon, slag. Why can I not find this? What's the tin? Okay, t oh, tin ore is the green stuff, right. That's why I can't find it. Is tin really green? I don't know. Still can't find it. Ah, ah here we go. Tin ore, right. And finally, silicon. That's going to be silicon by default, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Power down here, like that. Can I make silos? Yes, with steel. 50, 256 doesn't sound like a lot. Maybe that's 256 stacks. Is there a silicon one? No. Oh, a general silo. Okay, let's try that. Let's go find some steel. That's going to be all the way down the bottom. Okay, for now I'm just going to put all of this in here to get rid of it because I don't have the space for anything else. Okay, yeah, that's nice and big. I can deal with that. Next thing is tin. So, that, does tin smelting work in the same way that everything else smelting works? Or am I going to have problems? Oh, okay. Tin ore into tin plate and stone furnaces. Excellent. Furnace. Okay, let's get some stone so I can build some stone furnaces. Oh, it's in the way. How do I always manage to put something in the way? Right, that's tin. That wasn't too bad. Let's run this down here. Oh, oops. Missed by one. <laughs> okay. Tin. Great success. Let's back this up. Of course, it's the, um, the uh, slag. Okay, let's get a uh, crusher in then. I don't know how much tin I'm going to need. Let's try just having the one crusher to start with and see how that goes. And then, of course, I can always make more if I need them. Can I wind this up? Yeah, I'll just have to take it around, around that way. Oh, I've still not got enough power, have I? I was researching better versions of machines for making the power, except I think I got distracted by... Um, yes, there we go. 
got distracted by having to research other things for slightly more urgent reasons. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're doing that. That. I should get rid of some of this wood I'm carrying around, actually. Uh, yeah, I can just disappear underground. That sounds good. More underground belts. There we go. Back up. And then uh, I should probably put one of these in, or I'll. Oops. Yeah, if I don't put one of those in, I'll just end up with the. Um, it butting up against that belt and never getting, and never getting taken inside. Ooh, these are finished. It's probably a minor worry. Hey, more crushed popmonium. Enjoy. In fact, some of those miners I just picked up go along here. I think that's probably more than a single um, crusher can deal with, but at least it'll. Oh, I've got a load. <laughs> I've got lots in here as well. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, I can make filter inserters. That. Oh, that. Just pick it all back up again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's working quite nicely now. The problem is this one. Mm, that, get rid of that. What? Oh. Okay. Uh, these are all pulling up the other stuff. <laughs> okay, that's not what's supposed to be happening, but it'll kind of work. Um, that's supposed to just be keeping the uh, Bobmonium ore, which is the. Ah, oh, come on, where's Bobmonium ore? There. I'm setting that to the right. Got full? What's it full of? No. Yes. Oh, because I took the grabber away. Yeah, okay, right, let's balance this belt. And these feet. Am I running out of belts again? Yes. I'm getting through a lot of these belts. Um, okay, you need filter. Crush stone out. Uh, let's put the other way around. Then everything from here comes across here. Goes to there. And then everything from here. We did get that the wrong way around, but never mind. Comes over here. There. <laughs> and there as well. Mmm, delicious spaghetti. You get that. Okay, that's doing pretty much what it should. Oh, steam engine's finished. Let's get boiler 2. What's the difference? Okay, let's find out what the difference between steam engine 1 and 2 is. It seems to. Oh, I see, it's hotter. So it produces twice, produces twice as much power, but needs water that's twice as hot, if you'll pardon the expression. Yeah, I really need to get some better. Oh! Oh, that's why I'm out of power. There's not enough coal coming. <laughs> oh, and that wall's been under attack. I need to put some more turrets in. Let's um, sort these out, all these things out. And these are running slowly because there's no power. Uh, there you go. Burn some wood for a bit. How's the power situation now? Still horrifically low, but slightly better. Coal to the left. Let's have some more mining drills along here. Power. Yes, I'm fully aware I'm just making the problem slightly worse. <laughs> but now if I come back down here, eventually my boiler research will finish and I will be able to start upgrading these things. Presumably my Type 2 steam engines aren't going to run to full efficiency off the uh, Type 1 boilers. I need more steel for that to make more anyway. <laughs> This is a lot of stuff I've not bothered with before. So you need steel gears instead of iron gears. That's presumably relatively easy. What's that? I don't build normal steam engines. <laughs> That's a waste of time. I should probably be putting the type... I should be putting the type 2s in separately, actually. There's no point in running them both off the same. And there's no point in putting in... Not putting in extra ones, basically. But I need that to fit. That's probably running slowly because of the lack of power as well. While I'm waiting, I'll come up here and fix up these walls. And I suppose collect all of this alien goo as well. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of attacks down here. I suppose I should build up more landfill down here and put turrets further down below the wall so that they're actually covering the wall to the maximum possible, possible level. Because as it is, if they come in from below, I can't get quite as many turrets at them as I'd be able to get if they came in in the middle because I could have turrets shooting at them from both sides. But I think that extra one will probably be enough. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, use some wood. Right, now I can build some of those advanced boilers. Those. What do they take, by the way? Oh, steel pipes and steel plates. That's not so bad. Put them in there, like that. Have I used up all my underground pipes? Uh, let's give them some wood as well. And eventually coal. How's power now? That's better. Wow, it's going down quickly. Uh, yeah, let's get them running on coal as quickly as we can, shall we? And let's make that a 
out with priority to the left. Cole coming through. No, oh, oh no, 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 I've jammed that up. What do you, and what do you do with rubite then? Um, it's making lead, isn't it? Lead. Let's cook the crushed rubite. Okay, that's create some space up here. Which I'll find. I need to put more turrets in down there, I know. But first, let's make a crusher. Two crushers. And furnaces. Yeah, no, I, didn't. I overbuilt on furnaces, but not by enough. Oh, and let's put some turrets up so that when I run down there and go, I need some turrets, I've got them. Since I'm going to want rubite now, let's start actually deliberately digging this stuff up. Who designed this mine, honestly? I hope I don't need much lead. Uh, I've lost the plot crushers, there we go. I don't think I need that many actually, possibly each one of those like that. I put power cables in like so. You ought to crush the rubite. So you. Yeah, put it like that. We saw it. let's do it further down like that. In fact, let's do this here. Put it right, there we go. Uh, no, I need two of those, and the second one pulls out the uh, coal. That's how we do this. Right. I will admit it's occurred to me that I'm falling into the trap of um, doing all of my smelting close to the sources of all of the um, the products, which is okay to start with, but it's not entirely ideal later on. Um, but hopefully by that point I'll have um, started to split the bases off enough that it won't actually matter. The hardest part is going to be spaghettiing this uh, this belt through from here somehow into this system. And then all the way down here. Maybe my best bet is actually to go around the other side. Come through. There's not really much space to come through here. <laughs> what I probably should have done is put the tin and the lead on the same belt. It would have made it a little slightly easier plumbing. But it's not going to make it any many harder to bring it down here. As long as I can get it through this tangled web. Okay, well let's get it let's get the smelting smelting anyway for a start. And think about a way to put this power through, this belt through, because the gap there. Yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness sake! Nearly there. Uh, belts. Okay, 400 at a time isn't enough either. Boosh. All right, and here comes the tin. This will be fine for quite a long time, I think. So that's tin sorted apart from I haven't dealt with the crushed stone from it yet. Putting some more turrets along here because they're rather clearly needed. Like that. I mean, okay, those are standing up to the uh, the hordes, but might as well try and keep everything ticking over safely. Crushed stone, yes. Oh, my stone bricks are finally backed up. Does that mean my box of walls is full? I guess it does. Need to go on an expen ex expanse. Uh, on an, the expansion, I don't know, whatever those, those words in an order that makes sense. And perhaps I just need to build a massive warehouse here to hold all of this stuff, because there's not much else. Is there anything else useful to do with crushed stone, apart from make it into stone and then make it into bricks and into walls and, and so on? <sighs> crushed stone. Side please, and into stone. Calcium, why am I going to get hydrogen chloride gas from? From basic chemistry too, I suppose, yeah, sure. Um, or mineralized water, I wonder what that's for. Or with acid for slag slurry, great. No, I think turning it into bricks is about all I can do it for now, really. Uh, take it that box of walls is full. Go down there and say, here, here's a bigger box. Um, steel box, even. But till then... Oh, I suppose I could brick over my entire um, base. That's a, a thing I could do. Uh, make it a bit quicker to run around it. Maybe that's worthwhile. Check that off. Yeah, let's put some bricks down. Where do I want to brick over first? Let's start from here, the, the area where things are getting assembled. <laughs> that was a tiny, tiny amount of it. Okay, I'll let that fill up a bit more and then, uh, then do it again. But it's got rid of a decent amount of bricks at least. I'll say that. It's not that decent an amount of bricks. A few bricks. Well, I probably could build a steel chest now. Let's put one of those in there and then I can pick up enough bricks in one go that I can actually brick over a decent part of the a decent amount of base. Um, and for now, I'll just have to hope that's enough. It's not, but I'll just sort of hope. Damn crushed stone, it's just the slowest part of everything. Okay, I think that's a good time to end this really. Um, built up quite a lot of new stuff this episode actually. Now that I've got my, um, I've got the uh, lead finally going on up here, although it's 
It's a bit gradual because it's waiting for me to use up enough coal because there's the two of them being mined at once. There's a lot of these sort of inter interdependencies. Prove the defences over here a little bit. Uh, oh, that's something else I could use stone for. I could make some um, uh, landfill. I should do that. Uh, so those defences are quite good. Down here I've got yeah, tin and lead forming. So that means in the next episode I can start work on... Um, oh, what were they? Electronic, electronic circuits to go with my basic circuits. And then that'll allow me to hopefully start building more and more exciting things. So, I think that's a good point to end the episode, as I say. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.